Hello my friends on YouTube! This is Eunice here and I am a mindset coach. I am so, so grateful to be here. This is my first video, so welcome to my channel. Did not work. Energy is in place, mic is in place, and um, I am ready to jump in. So, I've got a question for you today. Wouldn't you like to know that your life, you are about to experience a whole magnitude of life transition just ahead of you? Wouldn't you like to know that there is something humongous that is waiting for you just around the corner? Well, I am about to show you today the top five signs that you will experience or some of the very common signs that you will experience when you are going through or when you are starting this journey of going through this shift. If you like what you're hearing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so that you know when my next video is coming up. So the reason why I wanted to get into talking about the five signs of you know, helping people identify when they're going to experience this major life shift is because oftentimes I realize that people always miss the signs. Think about it this way. When things aren't going well for you, when things are falling out of alignment for you, when you hit you know, a roadblock or a funk, or when you're getting into a place where you just don't know how to move on, how exactly do you turn that into an opportunity? How exactly are you supposed to stay optimistic or find the momentum to keep going? But I want you to know that every time you hit that roadblock, it is an opportunity that something out there is waiting for you, that there is a better transition for you to step into. There is a better life for you to step into. And all you need to know is to be able to identify the signs. So if you stick till the end of this video, you will discover what are the top five signs that people usually experience when they're about to go through a huge up leveling. The fact that you're watching this video, chances are you're experiencing it too. So sign number one, you feel like everything is not working or you feel like everything is coming together. But obviously it's easy to see that everything's coming together. It's easy to make sense out of everything when pieces are falling together. But what if things are falling apart or things are not working so well for you? The thing is, your interpretation to your events is everything. When nothing makes sense anymore, it is your opportunity to reorganize everything, to recalibrate yourself, to redefine yourself. When things are not in the right place, it is your job as the author of your life to put things back into a new order that actually makes sense. So I want you to know, the next time when something is not working out for you, do not lose hope. And I emphasize, do not lose hope because that is the opportunity for you to recognize that this is actually just a test from the universe and that it is an invitation for you to actively reorganize your life so that you can reorganize things in a way that aligns with your future goals. Now the second sign is you can no longer see eye to eye with people whom you used to hang out before. Or maybe you start to see yourself drifting away from old social groups, family members or relatives that you used to agree with. Chances are there may be disagreements or maybe there's an internal voice in your head that's saying, I can't quite agree with you anymore. Did you ever experience that? The truth is, when I went through that, it felt very lonely because I felt like nobody could understand me. I felt like I was the only one who was experiencing the shift. I felt like we couldn't see eye to eye anymore or maybe that my values were shifting. And it was not about leaving my friends behind or leaving groups behind. It was just that we were no longer energetically in alignment. And that is entirely okay. You being in a higher level than them, it's just about you start having a different world shift because you are shifting, because you are shifting in a place where you actually need to be. 
And that requires a whole new level of mindset to get there, a whole new level of mindset to operate. So that's why when you start to have conflicts, it is totally normal and just let it be. The third sign now is that you are constantly challenging the thought in your head and you feel like you have an eternal mindset battle that is going on up here. So what I mean by that is sometimes when you are moving into a new place in your life, when you are adapting a new mindset, new thought patterns, new beliefs, sometimes it's totally normal to run back and forth between the ideas and catch yourself debating with yourself. It's like you constantly have this battle where your new belief is there saying, this is what you should listen to, this is what you should believe in, this is the new idea, and then your old beliefs are hijacking your mind and say, no, this is how you've always been, or this is how you've always done things, or this is what the truth is. And you have this ping-ponging ideas going back and forth, that leaves you kind of frustrated and paralyzed. And let me tell you this, when I experienced this, I totally felt like a crazy person because I was listening to this kind of like a monologue dialogue because it literally just sound like my own voice in my head, but you are in this constant battle of like not knowing what is the truth anymore because you've adopted something new, but your new beliefs are battling with the old. So it's totally okay to experience that. You are not crazy, but it is definitely one of the sure signs that you are about to hit a major shift. And the fourth sign is you start to notice lots and lots and lots of new connections, new requests, new people, new activities, new opportunities pouring into your life in so many directions, like so many directions. And I'm saying these are unconventional opportunities or people or things that you have experienced in your life from before. Because you are no longer saying yes to the old things that you were attached to, or maybe because you are moving on from old patterns or old thoughts or old thinking, um, thinking patterns, and because you are not saying yes to the things that you used to say yes to, now you have space to say yes to new opportunities that is coming into your life. And you can identify those opportunities and possibilities and new doors and new gates and new pathways so much more easily. And you feel like it's just flowing to you in abundance. So this is something that I truly want you to pay attention to because nothing accelerates the process as much as being able to identify that you are going through the shift and that you are calling in all these new opportunities into your life and be able to recognize that and then leverage that and then ride the wave and then build momentum. And so this is the key part for you to say, yes, I recognize this. I'm going to take advantage of this and ride the wave. So I hope this has made sense so far. Right now, let's go to the fifth and last sign. What is going to make the biggest difference is that you start to do something that you have never, ever done before. And I'm talking about doing something that is absolutely scary, that shakes the nerves out of you, and that scares the daylight out of you because this is the moment where you leap into your fear and where you confront your fear. I want you to know that when you are truly able to take the step or when you have just taken the leap, maybe you've just quit your job, maybe you've just broken up with a violent, toxic um, partner, or maybe you've just stepped on a stage, or maybe you've just moved out of home, maybe you've just moved cities, whatever it is, you've just done something radical or you're about to do something radical. If you are experiencing that, if you are going through that, I wanna congratulate you because you are opening a new world, you are receiving new opportunities, a new future for yourself, with open arms and I just want to encourage you to just open your heart to receive everything that is going to come your way. 
So at this point, I want you to pay attention if these five signs are showing up in your life right now. If you are feeling like something is turning, something is changing, something is pivoting, I want you to start looking for these five signs. What are you doing now that you're not doing before? What are you about to do that you would not have the guts to do before? And dive right into it and dream it and go for it. If one or more signs have shown up in your life, I want you to let me know in the comments exactly what you have experienced and how exactly is it showing up in your life? Or if it's none of these five, how are you experiencing a huge pivotal moment in your life? Tell me in the comments because I would love to know. Well, that's it guys. These are the key five signs that I have identified most people go through when they're experiencing a huge major life shift. And before you go, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give me a massive thumbs up and also share it with someone that you know it's definitely gonna benefit in some way. And make sure if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell button to make sure you're getting notifications the next time I come up with some awesome video content.